Today, I'd like to delve into the AMC squeeze timeline and elucidate the two potential scenarios for a squeeze, the short-term squeeze and the long-term squeeze. We're looking at the prospect of a short squeeze, a dramatic event that could rival all others in its magnitude, sparked by one of the numerous black swan events in the financial world. Conversely, there's the long-term squeeze, where AMC's stock keeps scaling unprecedented heights for years on end. Hey, welcome to AMC Daily. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications by hitting the bell so you never miss any of our uploads and also enter our giveaway. But everyone remember this is not a financial advice video. Brandon recently tweeted, asserting that bankruptcy is no longer a looming threat for AMC. Now we're faced with two possibilities. One, a relentless, protracted squeeze that spans decades, compelling shorts to deliver their positions, or two, the occurrence of a black swan event that renders unrealized losses irrelevant by plunging these funds into bankruptcy. I aim to elucidate why AMC appears poised for such a fate. But before we dive into the specifics, let's examine some compelling evidence. An AMC enthusiast recently shared a screenshot comparing Overstock to AMC, highlighting striking similarities in their stock charts. Overstock experienced an initial surge from $20 to $90 per share, reminiscent of AMC's journey in June 2021 when it climbed from $14 to $72, eventually hitting $77. However, Overstock's trajectory over the following two years and three months tells a different story, a staggering 97% plunge from its peak to an all-time low of $2.50. During this tumultuous period, Patrick Byrne, Overstock's CEO, vociferously decried illegal short selling in various videos that can be found on platforms like Twitter and YouTube. Remarkably, following its nadir at $2.00, and 50 cents in March 2020, Overstock staged a remarkable resurgence, eventually reaching a new all-time high of $128 per share. It weathered the storm of shorts for over two years, experiencing a 97% drop during that time. AMC's journey parallels this narrative, with two years and three months of relentless short attacks leading to a 98.5% decline in its stock price. I am confident that AMC will embark on a journey of perpetual new all-time highs. As I'll elucidate shortly, I've previously discussed several other stocks, such as Booking.com, which saw its stock price soar from $7.32 to over $3,000 per share. In the dot-com bubble era, numerous large-cap stocks endured turbulent times but eventually exploded consistently reaching new all-time highs over the past two decades. The common thread among these companies is their success and resilience. Many of them were unprofitable during the dot-com bubble, but they have since transformed their businesses, achieving record profits. Critics often point to AMC's negative shareholder equity, where total liabilities exceed total assets, as evidence of impending bankruptcy. They argue that AMC's profitability is moot in light of its substantial debt. However, it's essential to note that other successful companies, such as McDonald's, exhibit a similar pattern. McDonald's boasts $50 billion in total assets, but carries $56 billion in total liabilities, resulting in negative shareholder equity of $6 billion. Despite this substantial debt load, McDonald's remains profitable generating approximately $10 billion annually. Remarkably, McDonald's stock price has surged from $3.81 to over $279. Let's also examine Starbucks, which possesses $27 billion in assets but grapples with $36 billion in liabilities and debt, resulting in negative shareholder equity of $8.7 billion. Starbucks thrives due to its profitability, raking in $4 to $5 billion in annual profits. Notably, Starbucks' stock price has skyrocketed from $0.42 per share to over $95. Another compelling example is Domino's Pizza, which boasts $1.6 billion in assets 
but carries nearly $6 billion in debt, leading to negative shareholder equity exceeding $4 billion. Despite this daunting debt, Domino's Pizza thrives, generating over $500 million in annual profits. Those who predict AMC's demise due to its debt load seldom mention companies like Domino's Pizza, Starbucks, or McDonald's, which successfully balance profitability with substantial debt. These companies consistently achieve new all-time highs in their stock prices. This paradigm illustrates the potential for a prolonged squeeze lasting decades, wherein AMC's stock price ascends year after year, reaching extraordinary heights. As AMC continues to break profit records quarter after quarter, particularly with the addition of revenue from Taylor Swift and future concert events, it's entirely conceivable that AMC's stock chart will mirror the trajectory of McDonald's. AMC's stock price is poised to scale new all-time highs annually, much like Booking.com, McDonald's, Starbucks, and Domino's Pizza. These companies demonstrate that high debt is not an insurmountable obstacle to success. AMC, too, has the potential to become a highly profitable enterprise, defying naysayers and proving its resilience in the market. Interestingly, CNBC appears to be recognizing AMC's staying power. CNBC recently published an article highlighting how Taylor Swift's concert film could revolutionize the movie theater industry. The article points out that despite releasing previous documentaries and concert films on streaming services, Taylor Swift has chosen to debut her concert film directly in theaters this October. The film has already broken records in terms of pre-sales, with expectations of surpassing $100 million in its opening weekend. This excitement has prompted movie theaters to, to create specialty popcorn buckets, craft boutique cocktails, and even set up friendship bracelet-making tables, all in an effort to enhance the movie-going experience. In the wake of the pandemic, consumers have gravitated toward out-of-home experiences, making communal experiences outside the home more valuable than ever to the theatrical industry. Taylor Swift's concert film is projected to generate billions of dollars, with a substantial 43% of those earnings going directly to AMC. This influx of revenue could propel AMC into the ranks of companies like McDonald's, Starbucks, and Domino's. Yes, AMC carries debt, but it also generates billions in profits. This scenario exemplifies the long-term rolling squeeze, with AMC's stock price consistently hitting new all-time highs over the years. AMC's journey is reminiscent of these successful companies that have managed their debt while achieving remarkable profitability, leading to a surge in stock prices year after year. However, let's not forget the potential for a shorter time frame short squeeze or the mother of all short squeezes triggered by a black swan event. I've delved into various black swan event scenarios in the past, including market crashes, dividend surprises, and acquisitions, among others. One particularly intriguing opportunity on the horizon is the prospect of AMC being acquired. AMC currently boasts a market capitalization of approximately $1.01 to $1.2 billion, and it operates 950 theater locations, as per their official website. If we divide the market capitalization by the number of theaters, we arrive at an astonishingly low figure of around $1.2 million per theater. These theaters are strategically positioned in high-value locations, generating millions, if not billions, of dollars in revenue, particularly as we approach the end of this year. Imagine a potential acquirer like Amazon, Netflix, Paramount, or others acquiring these theaters for a mere $1.2 million each. It's important to emphasize that these theaters are poised for significant revenue growth. An acquisition of this magnitude could serve as the perfect catalyst for the mother of all short squeezes in AMC. In conclusion, AMC is positioned on a precipice, with two distinct scenarios unfolding before us. On one hand, there's the prospect of a sustained, long-term squeeze, much like the success stories of Booking.com, McDonald's, Starbucks, and Domino's Pizza, where AMC consistently achieves new all-time highs year after year. On the other hand, 
The potential for a short squeeze, triggered by a black swan event, such as an acquisition, looms large and could rewrite the narrative for AMC. As we observe the excitement surrounding Taylor Swift's concert film and the resurgence of communal out-of-home experiences, it becomes increasingly evident that AMC's potential is far from being fully realized. Whether through a gradual climb or a sudden surge, AMC's journey in the financial landscape promises to be one for the ages. Guys, that's all we have for you today. What is your opinion about AMC stock? Get involved and let us know in the comments down below. Thank you for watching.